One question I get very often is how do you record your laptop screen to make your YouTube tutorials? And in this video, I am going to show you exactly how. Maybe you also want to record YouTube tutorials or create online courses or just record your presentations. I'm going to show you the exact process I follow to record and edit my laptop screen using Wondershare Demo Creator. Demo Creator is the best recording software for creating online tutorials and presentations. It makes it really easy for you to record and edit your screen. To get started, the first thing you want to do is to download and install Demo Creator on your system. You will find the download link in the description of this video or you can just go to democreator.wondashare.com and here you can just go ahead and download it for free. It is available both on Windows and Mac depending on your operating system. After downloading, I'll just go ahead and run the installation and once you are done setting up the app, you are ready to start making your video. One thing I really like about Demo Creator is that you have both a screen recorder and a video editor in one place. That means you don't need a separate video editing software to edit your videos. And as you can see, the user interface is very easy to understand. If you want to start a new screen recording, just go ahead and click on video recorder. Then you can go ahead and select what you actually want to record. And here you have three options, screen and camera, or just your camera, or just the audio. Let's say if you want to create voiceovers, you can use the audio option. But I usually work with screen and camera for my YouTube tutorials, and that will allow me to record my screen and also capture my so I'll just go ahead and select screen and camera, allow the necessary permissions. Then the next step is to customize the setup you want to use for your recording. Like you can manually adjust the area you would like to record on your screen, or you can just click on this select screen icon. And here you find a number of presets for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Let's say if I select TikTok, you see that we get this vertical aspect ratio that is ideal for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels but I usually just record my entire screen. So here I'm going to select full screen and that will allow me capture everything on my screen, which is exactly what I want. If I need to crop any part out, I just do that during editing. Then you can use this camera option to select the camera device you want to use. Right now, I have three options, the webcam that I have connected to my laptop or use the laptop's inbuilt webcam or maybe my iPhone's camera. I usually just work with the external webcam. Then another very important option is the microphone you are going to use for your recording. So here you can select from the options that you have connected. I'm going to use the mic of the webcam that I'm currently using, but you can also use your laptop's inbuilt mic or whichever device you have connected. And then for the system audio, I'm going to use the default system audio. If you want to schedule your recording, you have the schedule option. But before you start recording, you can even come over to settings and here you can select your export configuration. I usually just work with multi-track recording and editing because with that, I'll get my screen recording, camera and audio on separate tracks which will give me a lot more flexibility when editing the final product, but you can use whichever option works best for you, either single track or multi-track. Then you can come over to file, you can select the location, you want to save your recordings to and then on that video you can select the frame rate of your recording i like to use the default 30 frames per seconds but you can use whichever option let's say if you prefer 24 frames per seconds that's really up to you but i'm going to use 30. i also use the default setup for the encoder and quality then we can come over to webcam here you can select the webcam the resolution and the frame rate as well so these are the basic settings and then before i start recording let me show you some very interesting things that you can do on the webcam first you can change the mask let's say if you want a rectangle mask you can select it but i prefer the circular mask also you can use this background option to remove the default background that you have so if you want a transparent background you can easily achieve that with demo creator and you can flip your video and then they have this beauty filter that you can apply but i'll just bring back the background and then drag my camera to the side and once you have the setup that you like you can just go ahead and click on this record button to start recording and then i can go over 
and start making my presentation. One very cool thing about Demo Creator is that you get a lot of tools that you can use to make your presentation more engaging and interesting for viewers. So over here, you can see the toolbar. And let's say I want to highlight a particular area of my screen. I can just bring in this circular shape, select the color, and then go over to wherever you want to highlight and draw your shape. Or you can use the pen tool, select the colors, select the size, and then you can go over and draw whatever you want. So there are other similar tools like text. If you want to add text, if you want to draw an arrow just to point to a particular area, you can use the arrow tool or you can use the eraser to erase whatever you've added to the presentation so that your screen does not become crowded and confusing. Then you have the spot highlighter. Let's say you want viewers to focus on a particular area and all these tools will basically make it easier for viewers to understand what you are actually doing on your screen then you can open a complete whiteboard where you can create detailed illustrations. And then at the top right corner here, you are going to see three different buttons. The first is pause. Let's say you need to take a break. You can just hit the pause button. And then whenever you want to continue, you hit the same button again. Then you can use this button to delete and restart a new recording. And once you are done with your presentation, just go ahead and click on the stop button. That will save your recording and automatically import the footage into the built-in video editor and this video editor works like any other video editor that you come across you can just drag the footage to your timeline and you can see right here that will have three different tracks one for the audio the camera and the screen this setup will give you more flexibility when editing your video let's say if there are some parts where i would want the camera to be bigger i can just come over to video and then increase the scale of the camera let's say i want to cut out the part before the presentation presentation actually started, I can just bring the playhead over, use the S key on your keyboard to split the clip. And then I'll just highlight all the parts I want to remove, which is basically everything at the back of the playhead, and then use shift and backspace to delete that part out. And I also repeat the same process for the ending of the recording. So come over here where the presentation ended and then use S key again to create a split, highlight everything and then delete. So you can basically follow the same process to cut out all the unwanted parts and all the mistakes from your recording. And then there are other very interesting tricks that you can use. Let's say if I select my audio clip over here, you are going to see some magic tools that will help you edit the clip you just selected. AI denoise to remove any background noise from your video. And then you also have the AI voice cleaner that will help you enhance the quality of your voice. And then there is this AI voice changer. Let's say if you want to use a different voice for your presentation, you can easily do that with the power of AI in Demo Creator. Now, let's say I want to add subtitles to my presentation. Demo Creator also makes that very easy for you. As a matter of fact, you can add automatic subtitles just by coming over to this toolbar. Here, you will see three different text options. The first is quick text. Let's say you want to add some kind of text to a particular section of your video. You can use this. But if you want to add subtitles, we have the subtitle option right here. And then there is this really cool AI text to speech. Basically, you can feed in your script and then select the voice you would like to use. And Demo Creator will automatically create a realistic AI voiceover. But right now, I just want to add subtitles. So I'll select the subtitle option. And then you have three options, auto subtitles. Or if you already have your subtitles, you can import it right here. Or you can manually enter your subtitles. Titles. Of course, the easiest part to take is auto subtitles because I want AI to do that for me automatically. So I'll select auto subtitles and then I will also check automatically identify and highlight keywords and then click on start. And in just a few seconds, Demo Creator is going to automatically transcribe your entire video. And you can see without doing any manual work, I have these nice subtitles on my video. You can take the time to go through the transcription. Just make sure there are no mistakes. And then you can come over to settings where you can customize your subtitles and under animated, you can select the subtitle preset. Let's say if you want to apply this, just select it and that automatically change the style of your subtitles. And there are a lot more cool stuff that you can do here inside of Demo Creator. Let's say if you want to add different shapes and text to your video, you can do that from the annotations panel. Then you also have video effects, 
audio effect, cursor effect. Let's say I want my cursor to be highlighted. I can just add this effect to my screen recording. Then you can customize the color of the highlight, the opacity, and the area. And now you can see that wherever my cursor is, we'll have this red highlight around it. And basically, once you are done editing your video, the next step is to export and publish your content. So you can click on the export button. Here, you can give your project a name, select the format, usually mp4 then the aspect ratio or use custom aspect ratio on custom it is going to use the aspect ratio of your screen but you can use maybe 16 by 9 for youtube 9 by 16 for tiktok youtube short and instagram view also you can select the folder where you would like to save your work i'll just use the default folder and then for the preset you can either use high quality middle or normal. High simply means you have a larger file size, but that will give you better quality. And once you are done with all of this setup, you can just proceed to export your video. Alternatively, you can publish your content directly to YouTube, TikTok, and Vimeo, all from inside Demo Creator. But usually, I just export it to my device first, and then manually upload it to YouTube. And that's basically it, guys. I hope this video helps you. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I'll be there answering your questions. And if you enjoyed this type of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you'll be the first to know anytime I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.